let's look a little bit ahead. So like, what would you say some of the long-term implications of adopting the Pivot Arc Spray system might be for a company's operations? And why does this investment make sense for them? Well, the only companies that should be interested in this would be companies who want to see a return on investment. They want to see something that they're going to put into place and reduce the reliability of, of or dependence, not the reliability, reducing the dependence on people. Um, now, I want to be careful when I say that because some people say, well, oh, my gosh, you're going to be replacing people with robots. That's something yeah. that's been the fear of, of some companies. Well, the fact of the matter is they can't get enough people. So right now what we'd be doing is putting in a robot to help uh, the people who are there trying to do the work and get the job done. So one of the other benefits to using the Pivot Arc with a robot is, first of all, it always shows up. Second of all, it never takes a break. And third, the robot always passes the drug test. We haven't had one robot yet fail the drug test. That's pretty good. That's another benefit. <laughs> so anyway, so some of the other benefits, again, is that you're reducing the, the dependency on skilled labor. The robot replaces that. And what you're doing now is you're replacing that skill set with something that's interesting enough, people who like to work with programs. The main operator for the Pivot Arc system is going to be an operator sitting in a room monitoring the, the computer programs that are running this robot. So there's a lot of people out there who have grown up on computers. That's all they know. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be very comfortable working with a mechanical object that they're controlling with the software. They'll be right at home with it. So it's a different type of labor force you'll be looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, I mean, I, I, I consider myself relatively young, but now I'm watching even my two-year-old daughter. They're picking up technology at an alarming rate, especially now that they're being introduced to it, even at a younger age. So now, I mean, as the workforce gets younger, the, the shift to technology, it just makes sense because that's what they're dealing with on a, an everyday basis. So this would come natural to them to, to help monitor this situation. So yeah, I, I think it's a no-brainer. Yes, Justin, I tell you what, technology is moving at an incredibly rapid rate. And I'm going to tell you a story that's going to date me, but I'll tell it to you anyway. First of all, do you know what a slide rule is? Ooh, uh, I, I think I've seen one before, but why don't you why don't you tell me exactly what that is? Yeah, no, that's okay. I, no <laughs> embarrassment here. A slide rule is a way that you do calculations, and basically it's got logarithmic scales on it. And by using this slider and this little window, you slide it back and forth, you can do complex calculations. As a matter of fact, we put a man on the moon using the slide rule. So when I went to high school, I used the slide rule. And the reason was we didn't have any computers. There were no handheld calculators. We had to do long math, which many people don't even know what that is. And I actually built my first computer. It was a Heathkit 64. The reason it was called a Heathkit 64, it had 64K of memory total. That's it. Wow. So I had these little <laughs> floppy disks that when you uh, when you used it, you'd slide the, the floppy disk in and it would boot up the operating system. And then once it booted up, it'd say, well, put in your program disk. So you'd pull that out and put the program disk in. So I was using a program at the time called Lotus123, which is a modern day uh, spreadsheet like Excel. So you'd put you'd load that program in and then you'd start doing your creating your spreadsheet. And then it'd tell you, put in your data disk. So you'd pull that floppy disk out and you put another one in and it would put the data to that. So it would go back and forth because it only could do so much. So yeah. after you put the data in and say, okay, put the program disk back. Anyway, I kind of make a long story out of that. Now, and at the time when I went to Lehigh University, Lehigh University for master, my master's degree, they had what was called a Cray supercomputer. And that computer took up a huge room, probably a 20 by 20 room. It needed a special air conditioner. And the only way you communicated with it was with cards. You had to type out your program and it printed out these data cards and you fed these data cards into the computer. There was no interface where you could use a CRT and all that. At least as an end user, you couldn't. Well, today, these cell phones have probably a hundred times the power of what that Cray supercomputer had. And that Cray yeah. supercomputer was put there by the Department of Defense to do complex calculations for, I assume, for saving the world, but it was for some kind of military application. Yeah. So anyway, technology has moved at an incredible rate and it continues to move to the point that even people are wearing the watches now on their wrists that, if you remember the old Dick Tracy cartoons, 
Well, he had the wristwatch, the wrist communicator. Well, it's, yeah. it's here today. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it is weird. I mean, I, all I've ever really known, I mean, I was, I, I grew up in the 90s, uh, but I don't really remember a lot of that. And so pretty much 2000s and beyond is, is where all my memories are. And that's, I've had a computer and the internet for almost my entire life. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a fascinating time. So I got to tell you, I'm really excited about this Pivot Arc technology. I've been working with it now five, six years, and I see the future with it. This is the future of thermal spray. If you'd like to talk a little bit more about it, give us a call at 724-229-5791. Drop an email, bob at thermalspraydepot.com. I have many layers I can go into this with you and be glad to share it with you.